Hello. Um, I just um, had a go at Unit 4, which was about present tenses. This was my least um, favourite unit so far. Not because um, of the structure of it or anything, it's just an area that I knew um, wasn't a strong point of mine. Um, and that was kind of reflected in my score. Um, I think with with present tenses, you think you know more than you actually know, and it's quite it really interested me because um, I've taught in classes before and I've watched English lessons, and and I actually always thought it was really easy to teach, but actually it's really hard to teach, and I realised um, that understanding can get lost here quite quickly. So you can think you're explaining something really really well, and in my head as I was reading the questions, I was thinking, yeah, I know what that is, I know what a participle is, I know what this is, and actually. I thought, God, you know what, this is hard to explain to someone who doesn't speak English. And um, so I guess this is probably an area that I'm least excited about teaching, but also one that I've realised is crucial. Definitely, definitely a unit that I'd like to spend some more time on. Um, and as I've said in my other kind of diary entries about the units that I've done, that's where I feel this course really kind of excels because you can you can go back you can i can i'm gonna sort of have a chat with my tutor um see if there's there's any more sort of um learning that i can do to kind of get to grips with it a bit better any tips that they can give me um and as i've said before they've been really really great getting back to me really good with advice um so yeah probably the most difficult one so far definitely my lowest score so far um but onwards and upwards and I will have a go at unit five and fingers crossed that one will be much better.